Hello everyone, and welcome back to Very Determined Man Tries to Figure Out How to Go Through a Door. I know. Quite the premise. Quite the premise. Now, last time we ended up back down here just out of the paranoia that maybe, just maybe there was, there was more to this spot. But I, as I look at it, I'm not really... I'm not really thinking that there is anything more to be done here. So we're trying to figure out how to get to... How to get to the other side of this door. And admittedly not having great success. This door, very, very frustrating at the moment as we can't quite seem to get down you can see that there's an item across the way and there's a way to go there we will we will get there one day i'm i'm hope i'm i'm hopeful that today is that day now we went down there I want to try and go back up here. Something just feels off to me about that area where the jars are. Because, like, this this lift goes there, right? We, we go from one resting point up a lift. There are jars, and then there's another resting point right there. Like, there has to be a meaning for there being this in between. It just, I don't know. And maybe it's just a, a quick way of connecting the two, but it feels like there should be more. Like, is one of these an imaginary wall? There's a thing there, and it comes back out, and then it goes up there. Those are windows. Which I said that those were windows last time. Can we go on the other side of these windows? That's over here. I don't know that we can get up to that. Can you get over to those? That's not invisible. Hold on, can you jump up on... Uh, okay. Um, do I have to do some, like, hardcore parkour here? Sprint and jump. Oh! Okay, where am I? There's a door. And this drops down. There's a guy there. This might also be a new... thing? I wonder if we can get over to those. I'm kind of thinking not. I will hop down there, but I need to investigate up here, because that doesn't seem like a way that I can get back from. Nothing hides back there. Okay, so this is back in the courtyard. Get a smithing stone. So it seems like if you thoroughly investigate the castle before Godric's fight that you can get your weapon upgraded. Although, yeah, okay, I was gonna say there's not a lot for smithing stone one, but then we proceed to get one. Does this go out towards the tower? Wherefore, wherefore aren't I? Like, is this out towards that tower I was looking at before? Manor Tower Shield. There are a lot of goodies back this way. Oh boy. 
Smithing Stone 3 is hiding out here. Are these more parkour ledges? I don't know that... Doesn't seem like there's anything for hopping across these. Okay. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Man, I... I tell you what, this castle is awesome. Like, hands down, one of my... One of my favorite things about this game so far. Just in terms of, like, area design. Oh, there's a special item back there? Raise B. It's the gate! We did it! We did it! And then we've got this purple item. Back in here. And a bat. No more bat. Arteria leaf. I was admittedly hoping for something a little bit more appetizing, so to speak, than that. Okay. So the only other place to go... Go up from the cell, and then parkour back across, but then go down instead of going through the door. I think that's the last... the last section. Now, I have no idea. Like, we were searching for that, and we found other things and places to go up within the tower. Admittedly, and obviously it's a blind playthrough, so I would have no way of knowing, but I have no idea if there is more to this castle than what we've already found. Because it just, it just feels so massive and so layered. We went all the way down. We fought that boss that there's a version of it in the catacombs at the beginning of the game. After you go through all that poison and stuff, I think it was at the bottom of that. Like, there's just so much here. I, there might be a way to get over onto those rooftops, and I have... ...not an inkling. Like, there we had the gate and the lift, and... ...we had some... Some sort of, like, vague insight. I did not realize that it was a weaponized bird. Banished Knight's Greatsword. That's gotta be just, like, a random weapon drop. Banished Knight's Greatsword. A finely crafted greatsword intricately engraved with an ancient motif. Given to knights who, whether by misfortune or misdeed, were forced to abandon their homes. Most of these knights were sent to the fringes where they were forced to start anew with only despair for company. And it has a stamp with an upward cut. D and D scaling. Nito. Now surely okay. I guess they just have you jump jump over the ledge there to get back down. So, like... That was the only thing that I was like, yes, this is incomplete here. So I think... It may be... officially time to say we're going... We're going east. We're going east. Into, into the unknowns. Finally, no more Laernia. Back to Limgrave. We head, we head out into the east to a brand new world. Oh, man. It's, it's been a while. It's been a while, but I tell you what, I'm excited. 
I'm excited because there's just so... There's just so much. So much more to be discovered. And then we have everything beyond the... The gate. Now, I'm still confused about the whole... Like, what I feel like should be along the water out here. But I guess this technically you can't get to the water... Here. I, I hope we find the fort somewhere. I hope we find the fort somewhere. I have not the slightest clue where the... Is it like Fort Hate? Is out to the west? No idea, but we have like... What I feel is pretty well scoured the lands to the west so if we haven't found it I'm almost willing to say that it's not there <laughs> obviously can very much so be wrong about that it's certainly possible for us to have missed things I know that there are areas that we we did not find our way into fully. I am making the guess that they're questline related because they're like super high up or super down low. So they don't seem like they can be normally traversed. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? I am here. Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Height. To the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Well, Fort oh, Height. Entry. Grant me sucker. Ah, you come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's that's very kind, but um, no, no, the, the help is very much appreciated, even from a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, the untarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it, a fool and plumb mad to boot, simply obsessed with blood. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? Yes. My fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebration is lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retreat. Seems pretty normal to me. Okay. So... We were hoping to find out about Fort Height, and... Alas, we did. It says to the south. I don't know what the Mistwood is. There's not really much land to the south, so... I'd wager we can't be too far from it. Need to go and get the map. And then hopefully that'll make things a little bit easier to see. Got a bear. That seems like a really big bear. So, oh, I was going to say we'd go fight it, but if there are multiple big bears, then like... Do you really need to? Like, what? We're gonna have to, because he's got an item by him. Oh, he's scratching... I guess that's not considered a minor Erd tree? Something up there to investigate. This must be Fort Height. Also... Some... That building. We'll go to this first, and then we'll go deal with the bear. 
I'm gonna have restraint. See, these ones are, are for health. So I don't need... Siofra River Well. So there's another river well. But not connected because we're way too far away from the other one. Well, you know... <laughs> Ah, why am I so easily sidetracked? Probably just because there's so much to do. Like, here I am thinking that we're going to the fort. But nope, we're going down this really, really deep... ...well shaft. Wow. This is... ...incredibly deep. Looks pretty cool down here. But, like, this is one heck of an elevator. Wow. Like, the other river was... Don't get me wrong, the other river was deep, but, like, nothing like this. Absolutely nothing like that. Okay, well, we have much to explore. As is the case with all new... All new locations. Melted mushrooms, which I still don't understand. How they're melted, not burnt. It's oddly quiet. I do not like it, Sam I am. I do not like it one bit. Why is it so... Quiet and empty? What's gonna jump out at me? Like, the other place had all those stone creatures and the ants. Silverfly... I mean, this is a dead end. I hear something special. I don't know if it's, like, on the other side of the wall. It has to be, right? It's just making the sound from the inside and we hear it. Okay. I am down here. I feel like we have to go up the up the river towards this building. Some golden runes. I'm very curious how the scaling is going to be for this area. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to my hammer because it it seems like these are probably gonna be the same type of enemy as the other river, so we need this to do more damage. So river areas are definitely stronger. Is it the talisman that's making me... Okay. So that whatever the talisman is that we've got on must be just enough to weigh us down. Oh, it's not enough for a one shot. Well, can't say we didn't try. I do not quite understand how we're not getting the backstabs there, but it's fine. We'll top it off. Maybe we see what's around the river bend before we go inside. You know, try and feel like Pocahontas. Except I don't... I'm not up to date on my history. I don't think Pocahontas was running around with the giant hammer. 
killing stone people. But there was a river bend. I know that much. So it looks like uh, this is probably where we were going into anyway, so. Guess we can just get it out of the way. No! This is not good. You know, it'd be great if the auto lock on auto locked on to people that made sense. Okay, let's just, let's knock that off. Whoop, don't need that. Do not need the glowing ball of death. More rainbow stones? Oh, how useful. I have only used rainbow stones once in this playthrough. Just to check if the, uh, when we were in that really high up area, See if there was like an invisible walkway across. And you know, I was very sad because, well, there wasn't. All right, well, I guess we're not getting backstabs on them. How about on you? Can we backstab you? How about now? What can I say? I like. I like getting health back for, for critical hits. Mm-hmm, yeah. Gonna need to get some more upgrades into my hammer. Because I think we're at plus nine with this. Smithing stone two. Honestly, the upgrade materials are a little bit low just considering. Considering the difficulty of the enemies. Ooh. So there's a way to drop down in here. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Golden centipede? That's new. Anything behind the lady? No. Okay, so we gotta try and come back down inside of there. Maybe some stuff over there as well. This is the item from the ledge. Smithing stone four. I don't see anything. Which probably means that we're good to go up into the actual building. Yeah, like if we just, if we get a little bit more down, we're at plus 10. If we can get a little bit more damage out of it. That can go a long way. Because we're very, very close to killing in like one less hit with some of the attacks. Okay, so that must be the ball making the sound up here. I think it's just health by the looks of it. But we were missing one, so and yeah, I'm not I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. It will make do. We will make do. We've got this item here. I want to go inside, but we just have so many places to go and look outside.
All right, well, too slow to kill them all right away. See, it's one of those weird things where they like, if you hit them with the wrong, I don't know if it's like a counterattack or slightly sneaky or what, they somehow take three attacks to kill instead of two. Which is quite inconvenient. Like there. I don't know if that's like a slightly different attack or if I'm just hitting them slightly differently. Plus 11 would go a very long way for us. Okay, so those are not accessible. They're not actually a door, they just look like them. Got more waterfalls going. Same with there, okay. Now is it's finally officially time to go inside. So many times before we, we thought so, but does this go up or down? It's gotta go up, right? So we have the building to look for over this way. Okay, nothing in the stair or in the elevator shaft. That might be is there an item there, or is that just the light? Dude, what is that creature behind? I was thinking that maybe that would be the map. Beast liver. But those are just lights guiding the way. I think if we go this way, it should lead us back closer to the spots to drop down, or maybe not. Okay. Hmm. So let's see. So the building is actually southwest of where we are. Okay. So we're gonna have to proceed in and maybe something will take us back around. I definitely do not see anything from the elevator shaft to take us that way. It's probably a big mud crab if we've got a bunch of baby ones here. That must do well against crabs because of the hard shell. Maybe the hammer is a better weapon to use against the crab than the straight sword. Which I'm not entirely surprised by. It's also a two-handed strength weapon, so... Yeah, you would expect it to do more. Okay, mushrooms back there. Nothing around here. There's a lot of crafting material stuff around. More so than other things at the moment, it seems. Nothing up top on this. That looks like where a map would be, that pillar. So we've got a grace. Hopefully a map on the other side of that thing. Uh, I don't need to rest. That's okay. Anything back here? This is one of those guys... We fought these guys up by the mausoleum. Oh, armor's cookbook. The mausoleum compound. They were up by the erd tree. The minor erd tree there. All right, armor's cookbook number six. Preserving bolluses, okay, well. Not really been doing anything with those, but good to have. Okay, 
So we've got back here. And go north into the west. And then you can also go into this building. Which I think I'm going I think I'm going to go to the building first. What do you mean there's no Oh wait, light the flame. Well, it's not a map, but I could interact with it. Is this going to be like a uh, an Abyss Watchers type thing where we we light the flames and then unlock? Well, that that be a map. Okay, so this is just a dead end building. Oh boy. So we'll check the building out. Don't have to worry about whether this connects back to a bunch of things. Should go up there though. See if there are any items hiding back there. You look like a boss. Let's get the long sword back out. Let's have some fun. It's been a little while since we had a boss fight. Maybe it's not. Maybe it was a boss. Is this where that... No, this isn't a bird. Is this where that bird from... It's not a bird. What is this? Some sort of... Deer bison thing? I don't know why I was thinking bird. I think because the bone birds and stuff are like... Really jank looking. Don't quite look bird like until they do a little flutter. Okay, well, I got excited, to say the least. <laughs> I was like, here we go! It's boss time! Maybe, 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 maybe it's a boss when the. The flames are lit? I don't know, I'm... I suppose I'm grasping at straws a little bit, just hoping for a boss fight to appear. It's okay. It's okay, I'll go... <sighs> try and... Try and hide my disappointment a little bit. <laughs> there must be more of those towers. There must be more of those towers to to light. All right, and this is taking us back towards oh, just barely don't get it. Oh. Oh, but that was also like a sneak attack, so that's why it was extra crit. I, that is a, an interesting hitbox you have there. That got behind them a little bit. Okay, so I'm assuming that that creature is tied to air trees and like the worship thereof, although. Yeah, because this is technically... This is where we started, and it's by the base of the tree, so maybe these things are down here because it's the base of a... Maybe this is a minor herd tree, but it's like a... It's growing, and that's why it's not marked as one. Like, it's not fully a minor herd tree yet. Inverted Hawk Heater Shield. It really bothers me that some of the crafting materials are considered high enough rarity that... Like, they show up as purple. 
like kind of mean. The explorer in me, I'm like, oh, here we go, and then it's. Also, there are deer down here. I just need to. Need to, like, let that sink in. Like, yes, it's a river, but there's a lot of wildlife for being so deep underground. Doesn't quite add up. Maybe it's not supposed to fully add up. Um, excuse me? Are we strong enough to stagger these guys now, or what? Ow. Not cool, man. Not cool. You can't just show up out of the blue. And that's not a pun about their color. <laughs> show up out of the blue and start Beating on me, especially just sniping from afar. A hornbow. Okay. Golden rune. That's like a very sketchy jump. I don't actually know if I needed to jump that, but... There are definitely some spots in this game where they make you, like... They really make you commit. To like the hard the hard turn. Is this Hold the phone. Is that where we teleported to? And I thought we were so high up in the sky because like these look like stars, but really we went super far deep into the earth? I guess that makes sense why, like, it was on the underground map. And I can use my horse down here? Okay. Well, now I feel like I've seen it all. There's a ledge there, but I don't think that takes us anywhere. Right? You drop down onto that ledge, like, where am I supposed to go from there? Stone sword key for my... as a... reward for my adventuring. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that game. I have a lot of stone sword keys, and I have not a ton of places to use it. Okay, well, this didn't end up going so well. What if I hop down where I had looked before? Ah! Secondary jump. Coming in clutch. Okay. Maybe this is how we get to that... That here. A little double jump to save you from the fall. Okay, this item better be good. I had to do a lot of horse parkour dwelling arrow. Oh wow, thanks. Okay, well that was neat. We still have, like, along the wall to take a look at. But... I don't know, I'm very invested about just following the edges here. And those guys just seem to spawn. Oh, we've got another point up here to light. A group of them down there. 
Wow, that tracks. Can't light that from here. Sure, we'll just ride in circles. What could... Ah. It was almost... We were almost too good at it. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, that was a little bit... A little bit on the greed side. Plus, we can only do so many attacks in a row anyway. One more? Bam. No! I killed the- I killed the animal instead! Wrong guy! Wrong guy! There we go. Jawbone axe? Okay, we get a special drop. Uh, some poor animals were killed in the making of this film. But they are all virtual animals! That makes it better. Oh, please don't act like it's the first one that we've killed. Don't even. Okay, so we're down here. There's this whole middle section to still investigate. Is that what made the sound? Is he whistle? Ah! There's another one? Where? Ow! Ah, these are very large arrows sticking out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Haha, you hit the tree! Sucker. That was... Very clearly intentional. You can see the stored roll from when I tried to roll it. So do certain ones have magic bows, or does it just depend? Well, I tell you this much. The, uh... The regular bow fires much faster. <laughs> it fires much faster than than the special one, which I guess technically would make sense, but... So where does this teleport us to? Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna mark it. We're gonna be... We're gonna be smart. We're gonna put the marker there. The marker disappeared because we were already there yet, so I'm gonna just give it like a regular... Uh... Give it a regular one. So, across the way... Oh, there's some scaffolding. Got a couple more flames to light. Kind of got distracted in this area, though, because we started getting shot left and right. Not exactly what I would consider kind by any stretch. But I want to check out or continue to check out the, the perimeter. And then work our way back in. Oh, do we get a grace? That's nice of them. That's very nice of them. Thank you. Thank you for the graces. Okay, so that puts us with... Still much to go. I'm assuming that this teleports us up top here. 
I think I'm gonna keep working my way out to this and then we can come back and kind of fill it out but we definitely have a lot left to go down here doesn't even have the name on it anymore but I know it's Siofra River so we're gonna wrap it up here and there is there is still much to explore in the next video so thank you all for watching I'll see you next time.